This is Muhammad. We're so happy you're here. And you just came in from San Francisco when? It's about 30 minutes ago. Oh my gosh, Red Eye. Red Eye, yeah. <laughs> have you seen that movie with Rachel McAdams? I have actually, yeah. She stabs that guy in the throat. Muhammad, how did you get involved with Circuit Mom? Where did they find you? Or did you find that? So, I met the one and only Matthew online, really, just through Facebook. We just started talking over the years. So we had a conversation going, built a friendship. And one day I was actually driving from Atlanta back to San Francisco because I was moving back. And he gave me the big news that he wanted me to spin it for a Circuit Mom event. And I almost crashed my car. <laughs> what kind of car? It's a Nissan Rogue. Nothing special. Oh, yeah. Okay. Cut that out. Cut that yeah. out. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is a very emotional night for you, very big. Um, what have you done in preparation for it, for it to be successful? An event like this, I've just been doing months of preparation and picking, selecting the right tracks for it, creating some of my own mashups and tracks to play. And So do we put in our requests now? Um, yeah, you can. I will see if I can get back to you on that, though. Um, okay, uh, Keith Urban. Keith Urban Do doing Defying Gravity. Yes, now. Wait, which nights are you oh, DJing? You have a mic. <laughs> Saturday night. Mystic Jungle. Oh, wait, you're just here hanging out tonight. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh shit. Oh, I was so formal because I didn't want to like fuck you up before your thing, but I was like, okay, well, now we could fuck you up. Oh, so yeah. tell me about your trauma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when did you know you wanted to be a DJ? So it was about six years ago, and... I actually didn't know I wanted to be a DJ at first. It's is a, it this moment? No. <laughs> this is one of the big moments, right? Okay. But um, actually, my best friend, he, we would go out to parties together, and he told me I had a good ear for music. I was like, oh, well, thank you. Mm -hmm. So he said, you should be a DJ. I was like, I don't even know really where I would start. So he's the one that actually got me a mentor and got me training you know, two, three times a week with this person who had been DJing for over a decade. And that's how I learned, and that's how I fell in love with it. Yeah, what's your favorite part of DJing when the night is happening? I think the best part is building up the crowd and seeing the, the energy change throughout the night and progress like a journey. Uh, and seeing them just get more excited and seeing them wave their arms in the air, dancing hard, cheering, clacking the fans. All of it's just amazing. It's just an amazing atmosphere, and it's, a, it's definitely a high for me. DJs are kind of Jedis. And you just described the force. Oh, yeah, I haven't seen Star Trek. I've never talked to a DJ for this long because usually I say, do you have Wicked? And they say, get out. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm a little bit nicer. I was like, I'll see if I have it and I'll let you know later. But I never play it. Oh, that's nice. That's so nice. Okay, so they just started this show downstairs, <laughs> which means you start upstairs. <laughs> In literally less than five minutes. Right. And he's not nervous at all. Oh, no. no. I don't think you can tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going to be amazing. You're the right person for the job. And you're perfect. That's all that matters. Right? Thank you. I can't thank you enough for this opportunity. Of course. Thank all right. you. Bye. Let's have some fun. Oh my gosh. So we are here uh, against my contractual obligation because I did have in my contract, I will not talk to pretty ladies, but here we are. <laughs> so Isis, hi, welcome. Are you so excited? You're the headliner tonight. Yes, I'm super excited. Um, this festival is really important to me and working with Circuit Mom, it's my very first job with Circuit Mom and I hope not the last. So I'm really excited. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that's uh, so exciting. Where do you live? Where are you from? Um, I live in Guadalajara. It's Mexico. It's the city of the tequila and the mariachi. Yes. That's so exciting. When did you get in town? Or did you just arrive? 
today, just today. Yes. Really? And then is this what you flew in or? Yes, of course. I have, I have, to, I, I am the headliner. So since the plane, I'm the headliner. Yeah. So people say, hey, what's up with that? And you're like, I'm a headliner. And yeah. they go, okay. Good mom, headliner. Uh, Mark Days, whatever. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Well, we're so excited that you're here. I, I have to say I am very intimidated by you. Uh, <laughs> and by that, I mean, uh, I just don't like myself. Do you have any questions for the pretty lady? I just need to sit back for a minute. Isaac, mm -hmm. how long have you been DJing? Um, since eight years ago. Really? Yes, yes. What got you into it? Well, I'm always like uh, electronic music and I'm always being like a circuit girl. Even I didn't know I was a circuit girl. And I started to collect music, and then I got interested about sharing the music with people, and here I am. How would you compare the Chicago music scene or the party scene here compared to other cities you performed in or DJed in? I think it's not about the city, it's about the energy of every party. You, you cannot see, you cannot like have a file for this city I'm gonna play like this and this city I'm gonna play like that because I feed from, from the energy of the people and I don't know if um, we have to see how it's gonna be tonight. <laughs> what are you looking forward most to? Like when you get up to do your set and you see a room filled with people, what excites you the most? Oh, like people dancing, like having this, uh, the, the, um, the fans and see people like smiling and with the hands up, I mean, it's so crazy, my, my heart beats so fast and, and I get so nervous, but at the same time, I'm so happy, so I can't explain it like in words. <laughs> and she's about to go on. We're back in the dressing room at House of Blues, and we're here with DJ Shane Marcus from New York City, right? Yeah. Thank you. And we are so excited to have you here. Now, you are going to be playing Sunday night, is that right? Yeah, Sunday. And Sunday, you're going to be all spacey. Are you ready to be out of this world? I am ready to literally bring people to another planet on Sunday. I'm so excited. It's... Oh, amazing so you're like you're you're a dj drug form is that correct yes yeah, so i mean my dj branding is prepare to fly so <laughs> it kind of matches really really well with the zero gravity theme just a little bit so that's why i'm super super excited prepare to fly that didn't work for amelia Earhart. you're going to be here all weekend for all the parties but how do you prepare for your set like do you take some time beforehand do you take saturday off so i mean it all starts about a month before the event where you start to get an understanding of the type of music that you want to play um, and get a feel for the vibe, the DJ that you're going to be spinning with. So you curate music for, or at least I do, for about a month and then you put it all together and then you build a story. I'm still building that story as we speak. So it, it actually is part of it. So my plan is to, because I'm opening the night, I want to tell a little bit of a love story of when you first just meet somebody, when you fall in love with them, when they break your heart or you break theirs, mm. and then you're completely fine and you grow from it. So that's my goal. You're a poet. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah. How'd you get into DJing? So um, how did I get to, into DJing? So I grew up, I'm a, I grew up playing piano. Um, and when I stopped playing piano, um, I went to school and then I actually worked on a cruise ship for two years and I managed all of the parties on the cruise ship. And I was always enamored by the DJ and how they basically set the tone and the vibe for all of the parties that um, you do. And then I got brought to my first circuit party like four years ago and I said, oh my God, what is this? This is really, really cool because um, I've never felt more included um, and I've never seen such a diverse amount of people there that everyone is so friendly and so nice to. Um, and then I would look up at the DJ and I'll never forget, it's actually, it was actually Mickey Friedman who is DJing tomorrow um, and said, oh my goodness, you know, he's playing all this incredible music. So then I said, okay, I'm gonna try this. And then I actually started throwing little mini kikis at my apartment in New York City and invited everybody over. Uh, and then they were like, wow, you're actually pretty decent at this. And I said, okay, let me 
Let me do it. You you have good energy. You're funny. Thank you. You're funny. Thank you. How do you put that into your music? Um, I actually, <laughs> so I, I do it by basically pouring my heart into it and then basically letting it burst out through all the music. So if ever I'm having a bad day, I literally, um, I also work in advertising during the day. So I have an office job Monday through Friday. So if I'm ever stressed or if I'm, Madman. yeah, pretty much. Madman. So if I ever am upset, I literally will go behind, um, the, you know, the, the decks that I have in my apartment and literally just been a couple of times where I've cried my eyes out literally in my apartment to, to my dog. So, um, I have an English bulldog. Name? Diesel. Like the fuel. Diesel. Oh, so you really want the world to know you're a top. Is that correct? I'm uh, sure. Okay. Hi, Shane. Hi. How you feel? I'm excited and nervous, <laughs> but Good. I can't wait. <laughs> So beautiful. Galactical. So ah, I do. Yep. Got all that out there. I think I'm going to teach you in these classes. Right. What do you think? Ooh. Yeah. And it changes color. Yes, it does. There we have go. the same ones on the go. I know. I saw. <laughs> I was like, oh, you weren't kidding. No, I'm not kidding. <laughs> I'm so excited. Well, we're very excited that you're here. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you, thank so you much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Uh, we're back. We are here. We have already talked to a couple DJs, but I'm so excited to talk to this DJ because they got the night started off right. I turned around. I sat down. I got back up again. You know what I mean? Never going to keep me down. GSP, hi. How are you? I'm very good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. So obviously we've been asking everyone, where are they from? Where do you live? Where do you live? I live in Salt Lake City. I currently move there from Los Angeles, but I am from Greece, Athens. We want to know, what does GSP say? For? GSP is my initials. Okay. My first name, Georgios, and my last name is Piliopoulos. Obviously, if I had both names, it wouldn't work. You wouldn't remember it. So GSP is short of it. Okay. You kicked off the entire weekend, and we walked down, and we decided to be fools. And then, of course, we turned to you, and then we realized, like, oh, shit. You're doing it. You're killing it. What was your favorite part of, of doing Market Days here with Circuit Mom? So this is the first time I'm doing Market Days generally. Oh. Yes. And uh, I really enjoyed warming up the crowd for this weekend, starting uh, the kickoff event. And, well, the first impression is one of the best, right? Yeah. And you yeah. kicked it off. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. How long have you been a DJ? I've been DJing since I was 12, but I've been only focused We've been focusing on DJing the last 10 years, and especially in the circuit scene. Do you have a go-to kind of song that always kind of brings you up while you're, so you have a set? The, the one song I always play on my sets is Careless Whisper by George Michael, my remix. Very so good. this is, I always play it, every set, even if it's an opening uh, set, even if it's a tea dance or an after hours or a main set, it's always the perfect song. Now, what did you think of my Big Fat Greek Wedding? Uh, I love the movie. Right? Yes. I also had a big fat Greek wedding, so. Did you win? Wait, you're married? Yes, I am married, yeah, for three years. Uh, well, the interview's yeah. over. Yeah, we don't care anymore. No, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Did you really have a big fat Greek wedding? I did have a big fat Greek wedding. Okay, tell me, what was the what was the most outlandish thing that you did? Uh, it was in front of the Acropolis, and we had fireworks. <gasps> so.
Hi, it's Alexis Chan and Darby, and I am here with our headlining DJ, Suri. How are you doing tonight? I'm very good, thank you. Uh, where are you from? From Spain. Uh, did you watch Drag Race España? Yes, I watched Drag Race. Team Carmen. For the oh, Team Carmen. Ah. We agree, we agree. How, how long have you been a DJ? I'm t uh, 19 years, N one nine. <gasps> That's 19 my years? Yes. How old are you? 39. So is Darby. Well, yeah. That's why we're dating. We're dating. We are dating. Are yeah. you single? Yes, I'm single right now. Oh, right dating. now, but the night is young. <laughs> and you're about to go play some music. Are you excited? Yes, I'm very, very excited. It's my second year in Market Days. And I really can, can't wait to, to play. Especially after, the, after all this pandemic. It's, it's, I'm so happy to come back to stage because in Spain all is closed. So this is going to be for me very, it's a very special day for me. Absolutely. Well, we're so excited to get to hear you play. Yeah, I got a question. So how did you meet Circuit Mom? How do you know Circuit Mom? Uh, two years ago, I, I, I come here to play and they like me and they beat me again. Fabulous. <laughs> did your job really well, it sounds like, yeah. You are head to toe in, what is this, pleather? Yes. It's very hot. Yes. How are you doing tonight? Oh! oh, oh I'm good. Look yeah, at those. I'm really excited. A little nervous, but excited. Yeah, yeah. What, are, what are feelings that you have before a big event like this? Uh, racing, heart, shaky hands, fainting. Yeah, all those. Oh, the big three. Yeah. The big three. Now, did you, now we saw you at night one. Yeah. Did, were you able to make out tonight too? It, it was absolutely incredible. It was amazing. I actually cried. You I did? Cried from the atmosphere or was someone mean to you? No, from the atmosphere. So the theme is space. Yes. What's your favorite planet? Uh, Uranus. Yep. DJ Shane Marcus, everyone. Oh, it is? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was kind of brown. Well, I mean... <laughs> 